Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious and today I have a tutorial for you guys on how I master my tracks. So I just showed you guys how I mix my tracks, but what's another important process that comes along with completing your song? It, it, it's mastering, it's mastering your song. What is mastering so important for? Mastering is so important for bringing the complete fullness of all the sounds in your track. So parts that sound too quiet, they will sound loud. They will sound even with the rest of your song. So this really just brings a complete balance to your song. It makes your song sound really full, bright, and it brings out all the best qualities of all of your sounds. So that is what mastering is, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do this step by step. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, it's obvious. Hands to the sky. Eyes wide, unified. Turning green, finding your no effects right with the beam. I just be raising my consciousness, seeing through all of the nonsense. Like all effects, I cannot be blind, meditate so I'm not confined. Astral planes, I'm a changed guy. See, see the difference. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the beam. I just be raising my consciousness, seeing through all of the nonsense. Like bird box, I cannot be blind. <laughs> Meditate, so I'm not confined. That's it right there. You see, this is a big difference in what mastery can do. That shows you the difference between just some song that's mixed and a song that's mastered. So we're gonna click the fruity par parametric EQ. You click presets. 20 hertz plus 18 hertz cut click that and now this is great because it's gonna get rid of some of the really high end frequencies low end frequencies gonna give you a nice nice clean sound you don't want to have too much of this stuff you want it to be a really even sound next up fruity wave shaper you click presets soft oh oh wrong thing <laughs> You click soft saturation because it gives you a nice analog sound. And this is how the sound travels. It travels just like that. Here's the difference. Going through all of these trees. Feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the beam. I just be raising my conscience. So as you can see, it makes it like qu quieter a little bit. But that's good. If we want the analog realistic sound, so we're going to go for a little bit of it. Bass boost, I'm not doing that. I just didn't feel like doing it in the song. Didn't think it was too necessary. Sound goodizer is great because it makes your sound crisp. If you watched my mixing video, you would see how I did this. I mean, I'm going to explain it here too. Yeah, I don't do the B, C, or D. I just don't think it's really that necessary. I do A. I, I mean, by necessary, I mean, I just don't think it sounds good. It's not the way it should be. So, sound goodizer. Is. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the beam. You don't want to have too much, honestly. It's just gonna be overkill. So I have it always at a quarter. I always have it at a quarter. Fruity compression. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Max it out, maxing out around like I just two. be raising my consciousness, seeing through all of the nonsense. Like so I have it at. Four and the ratio is three to one. So what this is doing is, uh, this is doing four minus three. Um, so it's reaching the sound that is at one decibel, and then it's subtracting one. So it's lowering the sound by one decibel. So it's not too loud. Things that are too loud are being compressed. Things that are too quiet are being brought up. We have a nice level sound. Next up, stereo enhancer. Stereo Enhancer is absolutely amazing because it will make your sound actually professional. This is what it sounds like with too much of it. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the beam. I just be raising my consciousness, so. seeing through all of the nonsense. See? Like bird box, I cannot be blind. Meditate, so I'm not confined. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pine I have it right here. Bright with the beam. I just be raising my consciousness, seeing through all of the night. So that's how much I have. This is a uh, the fruity stereo enhancer is ma what makes the sound stereo. It comes out the left ear, the right ear, and it makes it sound full. Comes out both sides very nicely and gives room to breathe for your instruments and your sounds. It gives it room to breathe. So it's so important. It's coming out both sides. And this is what makes it really like kind of like a 
cinematic type. It makes it sound super professional. So if you don't have this, then it's not going to sound as good because I used to not have this in my old songs. And this is what really brought up the quality of my songs, for real. It will improve your tracks. I promise you that. Next up, Fruity Multiband Compressor. <laughs> so we're going to look at, all right, when we press M, this is going to mute it. And we're going to start with the low bands. So it's just, this is compressing by band indiv individually. <laughs> So it's reaching around six. So I have six. I have three. Let's see how much compression is going on. A little bit, right? A little bit of compression. We don't want to do too much. And I don't even mess with the attack, the release, the gain, the knee. I don't really mess with it. I don't. I just don't. That's just not how I'm rolling right now. <laughs> So we're gonna go to the mo the mid band now. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pine your glance to go with the beam. I just keep raising my consciousness, seeing through all of the nonsense like bird vibes. Because remember, we're subtracting two. Meditate, so According I'm not confined. To the I show plans, that I'm a change guy. Looking inside, that's where I find the key. It's okay. all on my mind, so I'm trying to be free. I gotta grind, elevate with so, the G. No wasting my. Yeah, and I've been told to not even touch the ratio. I've been told don't even touch the ratio because I don't know why exactly, but I just don't, and I don't mess with the attack, the release, or the gain. I messed with it before, and it really just like kind of ruined my my sound quality. So maybe it's just because I'm not the best with the compressor, but I don't mess with it. So I keep it minimal with the compression. See, not too much. Let's go high band. It's around 12. So my thrush, mine's at 15, see? It's up here. It's gonna be up here. Yeah. 15. And the ratio is three. So it's not that much compression going on. I actually did boost the gain. I did, that's the only thing. See, I boosted up just a little bit. Just to give it a little boost with the with the crispiness. That's all it was, really. And um, here is the G clip and the fruity limiter. All right, so this is what this is doing is we're clipping the sounds that are way too high that stand out too much. We're leveling the sound. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm oh, why did I take out the parametric EQ? I'm so sorry about that. This is what we want. Ooh. Okay. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm dope, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the See, beat. You don't want to have too much of clipping going on, right? We're just trying to clip just a little bit. Just a little bit. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Dota, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the beat. And basically, what where I got the idea for this is by looking at Travis Scott and Kanye's songs on uh, SoundCloud, you could see that it looks like the sound wave or the waves length of the sound is like a box, right? And it's not like it gets quiet and then high and quiet. No, it's like a box. Like everything is like pretty much like even everything is even and it's super loud so this is how you get it how you make your song so much louder really this is what it really comes down to it really comes down to this you clip it and then you up the gain a little bit and i keep it around 2.3 i don't like to have it around i don't like it to have it too much Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Dota, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the beam. I just be raising my consciousness. If you have it too high, it's gonna distort your sound. You don't want that. So I have it at 2.3. I clip it just a little bit. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Dota, my skin turning green. Pine your glance super bright with the beam. I just be raising my consciousness. And right here is where you can see how it's pretty boxy. Like, see? 
and it's not clipping at all. You don't see lines up here going crazy. Here's what it looked like if it was. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pineo glance super bright with the beam. I just be raising my kind. No, this is not good. This is horrible. It will make your sound like garbage. Like you do not want this kind of clipping going on. No, you want this line. You want this line to be straight. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pineo glance super bright with the beam. I just be raising my consciousness, seeing through all of the nonsense, like bird box, I cannot be blind. What you want to do is you just want to bring these, the wave or the sound, you just want to bring it as close as you can to this line. See, that's not good, actually. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pineo glance super bright with the beam. But see, right there, it's flat, and that's what it should look like. This is what it should look like. There's no clipping going on. It's really full. It's the loud sound, and I'll show you what the difference is without the effects and how it sounds just mixed. Going through all of these trees, feel like I'm Yoda, my skin turning green. Pineo glance super bright with the see? beam. I just be raising my consciousness, seeing through all of the nonsense. Like bird box, I cannot be blind. Meditate, so I'm not confined. Astral planes on my chain. It's a big difference, right? It's a big difference. And what you can do is so that next time, uh, every time that you load up your track into uh, your master, your mastery, what you do is you click file, save mixer check, uh, <laughs> state mixer state or whatever. I forget what it said, but, and then you would save it in here. Mastery, you would save, you would save it as like, save it as, um, mastery so i would save that right and then like i could load this by clicking file open mixer uh state or mixer track <laughs> i forget what it said and then you click mastery and then look it all loads up for you it all loads up so that is basically how you do it this is how you can easily master your tracks every single time this is what i do and you have to make subtle tweaks every time you uh, put in a new song usually it's around the compression element because not every song that you're going to mix is going to be equal so make sure you're tweaking the settings just a little bit but this is the gist of it this is how I master about every song so that's pretty much it this is what I do this is how I master my tracks as you can see subtle differences subtle things add up they add up as you can just hear right now when I take off all the effects it sounds really quiet right I put on all the effects, it sounds loud, it sounds full. Not Things aren't sticking out, things aren't too loud. The, so, the quieter sounds are louder. It's all level. That is the goal of mastering, and this is how I do it. This is how I master the Beast Coast remix, okay? So click right here if you want to see, if you missed the video of how I mixed it right here click right there and then this right here is the actual video here is the remix the music video that i edited all myself i made all the effects right here and don't forget to subscribe okay <laughs> subscribe if you want more music production tips i'm gonna be putting that more i'm gonna be trying to put that out more so check it out and peace and love it's obvious